when you can get it, tuna, lovely, lovely fresh fish. Um, in, uh, where in Irish waters in around August, September, October, you get these shoals of these tuna in. Um, you have the big guys, the big bluefins. Um, I tend to not be, I, I avoid them a bit because first of all, sustainability, but also uh, the albacore being a smaller white tuna, because it's a smaller fish, it doesn't have many of the problems the big fish have, such as mercury going into the, the flesh and so on. So with any larger fish, you should kind of keep your consumption a little bit more on the moderate side. But um, from a sustainability point of view, and also just a plain old health point of view, I think the albacore is a super, and a taste point of view, um, albacore is one of my favorite tunas. Um, so I'm gonna just put that aside there now, just freshly caught in, and what I'm gonna do is match that up with a very simple little slaw. Um, I'm not gonna use the old mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, I think, is very clunky and not that pleasant in a coleslaw, but I'm using red cabbage. Um, I've prepped most of it here, but a good way of preparing your red cabbage for your slaw is a potato peeler, and just kind of just shave your red cabbage down um, and you know you get a lovely nice smooth a uh, nice um, a nice uh, a nice size shredding on slaw which is really quite pleasant so then what I'm going to do into that is with my red cabbage I'm going to add a little bit of salt just normal season that I'd use but I'm going to add it first now ideally I would allow this to rest with the cold, or with a little bit of salt. I just want to mix that little seasoning through it and I'd allow it to rest for about 30 minutes at least. And what'll happen is that salt will start to break into the vegetables and release some of those juices and so on. Now I'm gonna hold on to those juices as well. Um, now I haven't over seasoned it, you don't need much salt. Salt's a very, very powerful thing, especially with something like this. But imagine I've just left that for about 30 minutes and I'm just going to keep going. Um, I'm gonna get two carrots. I've got about, uh, about 300 grams, 250, 300 grams of um, the red cabbage. Then I'm just going to grate a couple of carrots in there. And as you can see, very, very... Now another thing when I'm making these kind of um, salad -y things like slaw and things like that, they, they hold reasonably well in the fridge and it's good to have a nice little bit of surplus of them. But again, using a mayonnaise, again, especially the commercially bought mayonnaise, now you could make a nice aioli if you want a more traditional style, using an olive oil, or a fresh mayonnaise with an olive oil, I think. I have recipes for that um, up. And, but again, for me, I like the idea of keeping it nice, simple, and minimally dressed. Just gonna put that lettuce there. And then also what I'm going to do, just uh, mix through this, is an apple. Just kind of a little dice in the apple. Again, you don't have to be too fussy with any of this. I just like to sweet this and a little bit of texture that it's going to bring to the um, to my little coleslaw. and uh, try to get this too meticulous either. So there's my apple in there. And then, let's give this a spoon or something. Just gonna give that a little bit of a mix up. And let that salt again get to work, in particular on the cabbage, because it tenderizes the cabbage really nicely. Then I'm going to use a nice balsamic vinegar, about three tablespoons. Always add your vinegar in first. You could pre-mix this and dress it up like that. And I'm going to also use about 40 ml of olive oil. Mix all that up. And it's a good idea, I think, to let that all stand for just a few minutes. 
And there's our very, very nice, simple little salad ready to go with this. And the great thing is you can eat all of the, you know, this, this is a lovely filler upper as well, but it's just a crunch and everything with the tuna, it's really nice. So, I'm gonna put that aside. And very quickly, I'm gonna show you a very, very simple sauce. This is inspired by the Canary Islands. Um, I'm gonna use the little liquidizer here, or a little blender, and into that, short side but into that what I'm going to do is put some um, a pepper the roasted peppers and the roasted sun-dried tomatoes now if they're with a seed oil just drain off the oil and you can add your own olive oil into it but I'm going to put my sun-dried tomatoes my peppers half a chili a garlic but a teaspoon of cumin seed but 40 ml of olive oil And then I'm just going to add a nice little selection of herbs. Use what you can get. If you just have basil, which I'm using here, just use the basil. I've got a little bit of oregano and a few chives here as well. And just give that little simple little sauce to the blend. And that's all that's needed. requires and now all I'm going to do is just decant that um, put my salad and get all my ingredients get myself a little bit tidied up here and then it's only a case of cooking the tuna and putting the whole thing together very very simple so I'm going to very very quickly cook my tuna on a nice little skillet pan here um, so make sure your pan good and hot and a good non-stick pan what I've done with my tuna is I've seasoned it with a little bit of black pepper only, not salt, because the salt will um, draw out moisture and won't get a nice grill on it. I've also lightly brushed it with um, some melted coconut oil because the fish is cold, it kind of solidified back onto the fish. But it just means that I won't be using excess fat and it's all the fish will be coated on the pan. Just to show here as well, there's my little salsa, or my little mojo uh, sauce, Canary Island style kind of little salsa. Uh, with the cumin and really lovely tasty fish sauce very useful and i have my slaw ready here and as you can see a little bit of salt starts to draw out the moisture but getting away from all of those excessive um mayonnaise and things like that getting your head out of that for a cold slaw it's much better like this and much more tasty as well as you start getting used to you know getting away from those fats so anyway Good hot pan. I'm just going to carefully then put my um, tuna on. Now, some people, I'm going to just lightly sear mine and serve it quite rare. However, I do get that not everybody likes that. I'd recommend doing it like that, but um, I, you know, not everybody wants a raw piece of fish either, or a very undercooked piece of fish, and it might take a little bit of getting used to. But it is worth, it's a taste worth acquiring, definitely. But if, if that's not your thing, just very, very simply allow it to cook on a little bit, maybe on a lower heat or under the grill. So, as you can see, good hot pan, get a nice little sear on it, and by pre put and if it starts to stick a little bit, just give it a second more. It should loosen up if your pan is good. There we go. So I'm just going to give them a sear on all sides, but I just, again, as I said, I'm going to keep them rare, but that might be your thing. And it's not up to me to be telling people how they should be using. But the one trick here is to make sure that your pan is good and hot.
barbecue without a little bit of the searing of those. I'm going to take them out, put them on a separate plate. Just allow the tuna to just rest for a few minutes. So to dress this salad, or this um, little tuna dish, first of all, my little jam lettuce. Just gonna lay that out in a plate. My tuna, I've just, as you can see, a nice little sear on it. But again, I've left it raw. If you don't like it like that, cook it on a little bit. I'm gonna add now my pinch of salt onto that. Not much, doesn't need it. And also I'm just gonna give a little drizzle of olive oil on there as well. Just directly onto the tuna. And I just put a little piece more pepper on there as well, just uh, on the pieces of fish. So, then onto my slaw. I'm just gonna put a generous helping into my salad. Take my tuna. Gonna lay that on top of the slaw. And then finally, I'm just going to get my mojo sauce. Just put a nice dollop, just like that. And put the whole dish, just a little piece of olive oil there. And that is it. Nice little, uh, simple, Sir tuna salad. And as I mentioned, if you don't like your fish cooked like this, just cook it on a little bit more. But again, the dish itself, pretty much the same.